The lyrically rich African Union anthem is sung not only at official or government events, but at the ruling party's Swapo gatherings as well. Though it is only the first verse and the chorus that Namibians seem to have mastered, the song calls for a dedication to common ideals that led to the total liberation of Africa. President Gengob says government took this decision because Namibia's independence was as a result of pan-African and international solidarity. That shows that we realize that our struggle was long and bitter, but it was OAU, the founder, OAU, that was created by African leaders where there was a disagreement, where uh, Osatjefo, Kwame Krumah, foremost Pan-Africanist, wanted to have immediate union government. Then President Nyerere was saying we must go a little bit gradually. AU therefore was basically there to help us to free ourselves. And that task was completed by OAU with success. I regard OAU as a transactional organization. It was at state level more. AU should be regarded as transactional, transformational organization. First, it is involving people. The singing of the AU anthem and hoisting of the flag remain an independent decision of a country. But the AU Commission chairperson cautions about the increasing trend of unilateralism exhibited by some African states. This, he says, contributes to the fragile African unity and some decisions not being adopted unanimously. In the construction of the Union, when building a union of the continent, we have to bear in mind that certain symbols and the flag is necessary, and I am happy that Namibia has set an example to other countries to follow. It is not a mistake that the African Union has chosen Namibia to chair the implementation of Agenda 2063. Faki Mahamat was in Namibia for a two-day official visit as part of consultative meetings with AU member states on various issues.